To explain prepared statements, let's take a look at how database queries work. When we execute a query, the application sends it as a single string to the database server. The server then parses that string and executes the query against the dataset. It's useful to think of the query as a program, which is executed against the dataset. The traditional way of binding user input into a query is to escape the input and place it in as part of the query itself. But databases offer another way of executing the query. Databases offer variables. When we create a prepared statement, we use these variable placeholders and then send the variable's content to the server separately from the query data. By doing this, our query is always completely separate from user input. Therefore, things like SQL injection are literally impossible. Now, let's take a step back and take a deeper look at SQL itself. The important thing to note is that SQL is actually a programming language. Once we take that step, we can then treat each query as nothing more than a program. This is an important step because it allows us to explore the similarities between SQL and PHP. In both, we can hard code static values directly into the code, and both support a form of variables. So why should we deal with input differently between them? Would you dynamically rewrite a PHP file, replacing user input directly into the code, and then evaling that result? No. Then why should it be okay to do it with SQL? The answer is, it's not.